Okay. They gave me the coveted last slot of the day when I knew you guys were most alert. <laughs> but fortunately, it's not technical, so you don't have to be thinking too hard. I want to just give you a brief overview of the developer resources. Many of you may be familiar with this already, but it's maybe good to have a refresher of how, how to operate within uh, Kronos and where, where you get what you need, and also how to provide feedback, which is really important. So um, basically, there's th kind of three sources for resources that we um, use and promote for, for Vulkan developers. A lot of them, of course, are, are managed by Kronos itself. Um, we do uh, all the, the work on the spec itself. We have several GitHub uh, you know, accounts that are available to the public for the various tools that you need. Um, of course, there's member contributed uh, sources like the, the IHVs and, and uh, IS, ISVs to some extent and, and OSVs that will provide uh, sources as well. And then we have public contributions from, uh, from, from the general public, which is great for us to be able to get all the above. And um, these things include, of course, all of the basic SDKs and, and developer tools. Uh, learning resources, we have a ton of those from uh, all those sources. Uh, and we have our, our community and and, uh, and newsletters and ways to find information. So I'll go into a little bit more detail on, on all of that. Uh, the one thing that's key is that Vulcan.org is really the source for all of the above. So diving in a little bit deeper, um, you know, the basics, if I can get uh, this off my screen. Oh, doesn't look like okay, that's a problem. Um, yeah, I mean, the SDK, the Liturgy folks, I think are all back here that develop a fantastic SDK. Hey, guys. <laughs> uh, and uh, it's got all the tools and documentation, validation layers, you know, stuff, getting started guides, and, and lots more. So that, that's really the, the first place to go if you're developing an application. Um, of course, the second place to go right after that is the, the resources from the, the driver teams from the IHVs for the target platforms that you're working at. Uh, you know, obviously, drivers themselves, as well as uh, as AMD just pointed out, developer tools that are targeting for their specific hardware, um, and uh, as well as getting you know, best practices and, and user guides for, for individual hardware. So that, that's a great resource, and finding that all on Vulcan.org slash tools. Uh, and then for people that are just trying to get going quickly, rather than you know get you know, learning how to do this all from scratch, there's a ton of resources out there. The engines, uh, framework libraries, helper libraries. Um, it's all kinds of language bindings for all your favorite languages. Uh, and these can all again be found on, on the Vulkan Direct or Deck tools as well. But you can see a, a bunch of engines listed there. I need to get diligent at it. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, so there's more all the time, which is great. And try and keep that list up to date on, on our website. Um, and then in terms of learning resources, Kronos supports a bunch of resources. Uh, we uh, obviously do the specification. Um, and uh, with uh, Lunergy's SDK, we help support them as well. Um, Vulcan Guide is a good source of documentation on, on how to use Vulcan that, that, that's maintained largely uh, by you know, folks that are in member, member companies. Um, Vulcan Tutorial is something that, that's uh, it's been a, a public GitHub resource for quite a while, and we've recently started contributing to that. In fact, uh, Sasha Willems, who probably I mean, you guys know from the samples that he's done, is contributing to that as well. He just just published a, a compute chapter for the, for the Vulcan guides so or for the Vulcan tutorial.com. Uh, check that out when you get a chance. And then uh, the Vulcan sample code, we have a number of folks that contribute samples, uh, one of which from ARM. We got uh, Emilia right here that, that's a part of our team, as well as Oscar from uh, Movica that's been contributing, uh, and a, a few other folks that contribute sam samples. Sasha, of course, is another fantastic contributor to that, to that resource. Um, and then we, we do make, make you know, all the videos and blogs that, 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 like for example, all the videos from this session here will all be available up on, on our YouTube channel and, and on, on Vulcan.org. Um, let's see. Um, and then of course there's um, uh, vendor and community supported resources as well. Vendor best practices are all available on the vendor sites. Uh, tutorials, uh, there's a lot of those um, um, that are help, that are contributed by the, the general public, um, as well as uh, third-party samples and other other resources. So we try to link to as many of these as we can on Vulcan.org. Lot, lots of information up there. Um, so cross-platform support is one of the key value propositions for this API. It's one of the, the I mean, really, it's one of the key tenets is for us to be able to run Vulcan on top of 
any platform, or if you've got other APIs, you can run them all on top of a Vulkan platform. So you can kind of go both ways. And we've got resources available for all of that. You'll, you'll be hearing more about that on uh, Friday. There's a talk, sorry, on Thursday, there's a talk on, on affordability from uh, a couple of, of folks there. Um, so great set of target platforms, which I'm sure you guys are all aware of. And then we've got, um, uh, you know, for getting questions answered, this, you know, the Vulcan Discord, um, as well as channels on, on the, uh, uh, Slack and, 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 of course, GitHub, great, great ways to get questions posed or issues listed uh, or answer, answer questions. Uh, and then you can follow us, of course, on, on, the, on Reddit and Stack Overflow channels as well and on our YouTube and Twitter channels. So contributing, we you know we obviously get a lot of cont contributions from a lot of folks. Uh, you know we have our own GitHub repos as I mentioned earlier for for the, the spec itself, for um, you, know, you know the Vulcan guide and all these these things are th folks folks that, that are GitHub accounts that can be contributed to from the, from the public, um, and uh, you know submitting issues and and uh, suggesting improvements is is a, a great way to to improve the whole scene for, for everyone. And we definitely appreciate you know, any involvement that you've got there. Um, you have, of course, one way to do it is to join as a member. And actually, I'll, I'll make a comment here. We've got a member of a member of folks that are, that are part of the Vulcan Working Group. In fact, those that are part of the Working Group, can you guys stand up in case people have questions about what it's like to work in a, in a Vulcan Working Group? <laughs> you know, Ralph, I think Timor, you're, you're involved. Se several folks here, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Alan, of course. So, yeah, if you guys, yeah, you can stand up. To <laughs> so, if people have questions about what it's like to actually be part of the working group and, and drive the spec itself, these these folks can help answer what, what that's like. But we obviously are thrilled to have more more member uh, contributions. Um, and then, of course, you can contribute without being a member just just by uh, um, you know having open source projects that that you're willing to contribute. So, <laughs> and anything like that would be great. And then we've got a newsletter. So if, if, if uh, not already you know, subscribed to this, this is a great way to, to stay up to date on, on what's what's happening. 